In 1840, Thomas Cole painted The Architect's Dream for Ethel Town. While the painting was rejected by town, it's become important to architecture, not only as historical narrative, but an object of fantasy and inspiration for every architect. Richard Upjohn was an architect known for his work in the Gothic Revival style. He was particularly well known for his church designs, which were simplified and iconic. So much so, he published a pattern book of church and chapel designs for others to follow. Rem Koolhaas and Joshua Prince Ramis designed the Seattle Public Library. The building cost $50 million and opened in 2004. The contemporary and dramatic form of the building was derived with the purpose of accommodating interior function. Aero Saarinen designed the Milwaukee County War Memorial Center. Dedicated in 1957, the building represents one end of a broad spectrum of Saarinen's modern and inventive work with its massive cantilevers and brutalist aesthetic. James Renwick received his first building commission at the age of 24. He was an extraordinarily talented architect trained originally as an engineer. Among other buildings, he designed the Smithsonian Institute Castle and St. Patrick's Cathedral in New York City. Santiago Calatrava designed the Milwaukee Art Museum's Quadrachi Pavilion. Inspired by Saarinen's original design, now the War Memorial Center, the building features a ship-like chancel, massive vaults, and a functional wing-like briselet. The word scroll used to mean an old roll of parchment or paper. In the last couple decades, it's come to describe what we do with a mouse. And one enduring definition of the word relates to architecture. A scroll is a spiraling decorative shape. 